So if you have some. Oh, hi, I actually can see a couple people or one person. Hi, guys. Um, welcome to class. What I want you to do is uh, we're going to be doing a cardiovascular class. We're going to add some balance and some weights. If you don't have any weights, not to worry. You can use your own resistance in curling, or you can use soup cans or water bottles if you have those. But we're going to start off with warm up again. Always pay attention to what your body's telling you. When you need to slow down and you're short, short breath or winded, please just uh, keep moving very gently. Don't worry about working arms and legs. Try to follow my footwork and have fun. All right. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right. Here we go. If you wouldn't mind, just a little bit more volume. It might take us a second to get the right volume. Out a little wider. Back in narrow. Great. Out wider. Back in narrow. Try that again. Walk out wide. Very good. Now your arms might be nice and short. Just imagine you're taking a walk down the street and all of a sudden you come across an obstacle. A little wider. Now I want you to be one of these. There it is. Here's that volume. Oh, I see people checking in online. It's going to be funny. Walk again, walk narrow. I'll call that narrow. Now I'll fly. Set. Set. Narrow. I'll fly. Now one of each. In and out. In, good. Oh, I see our online participants. Now, stay narrow and inhale up, exhale. Try it again, inhale up, nice. Two more. Last one. Now, I'm going to ask you to take your foot in front of you, a little heel dig, stretch out the back of your leg, call the Achilles, the gastroc, the scoliosis muscle. Good. Are you pulling your toes back, everybody? Now tap to the side. Is our toe cap. Very good. Let's try four more like that. Now walk in play. Put those movements together. Heel touch. Heel touch. Let's add some arm. Good. Now that toe's going to go to the side. Arms go out to the side. Very good. Now walk four count. Four, three, let's try that one more time. Push forward, foot. Tap to the side. Walk in play. Now you remember that out, out, in, in. We're gonna try that on this side. Out, out, in, in, go. Walk in place and tap, go, tap. Go to the sides. Here's your out, out, in, in. Put that together. Out, out, in, in. So one more time. I need you all to push forward. Use your tap. Very good. Tap the legs to the side. Use your hips. Out, out, in, in. Now use the glute. Okay, we're feeling pretty warm. It's time to travel our move. Walk in place, arms up. Now arms down for four. Try that again in place, arms up for four. Arms down, great. One more time, arms up for four and down, good. What if we move this forward, ready? Move up, go. Move back, arms down, nice. We're going to travel forward. You might be coming towards the, your computer. Move back. Again, we've got plenty of time. Arms up. But arms down. One more time. Up. 
Arms down. Oh, let's take a little bit of a Right, arms and legs to the side. Now, out, out, in, in, use your glutes. Out, out, in, in. Two more. Are you ready to travel forward? Move up. Slow down. Try that one more time. Excellent. And down. Now we're going to go for something called the face. Face. Oh. Sit and face. Arm up. The coordination. Okay. Now shoot forward. Shoot forward. Go. Double dribble back. Good. We'll do that again. Shoot the basket. Double dribble down. Are you ready for the face? One arm up. Keep your left arm moving. I get that. Now, we're going to be in place as we sit back. Sit back. Very good. Now, object is to push your hips back. Keep the weight into your heels. Now, toe touch like this. Four. To your left, right. Switch. Double leg that is for you. Switch. First side. I get that. But are you seeing that point? Don't you go a little wider? Wider. Our object is to lift our feet off the ground. Back in zero. Zero. Out wide. One more time. Out wide. I'm thinking of the set. I'll remind you. In and out, in and out, in and out. Good. In, good. Two more. Now walk and play. Heel touch. Can you start with your other leg? We're on the second side. Very good. Object, pull those toes back. A gentle touch to the floor. Now we're going to go out to the side with toe touches. Out to the side. You're pushing the wall of the floor. Try that again. Forward to the chest. Chest and shoulders. Now side. I know you can do that one more time. You're just getting it. Four. Three. Out wide. Just march and play. March. Do you remember the out, out, and in? Let's go. Out, out, and in. Three things that I think want you to think about. Just a little dementia prevention. Push forward now. Out, toe touch. Out, out, in, in. Don't worry if you can get it. Just as long as you're doing great. Come forward. Out wide. Out, out, in, in, in. Loose, hips. Play. March of play. You ready to get on that basketball court? Your basket? Go. Two more. Four. Three. Double dribble. Both arms down. Arms up. Down low. I'll do it one more time before we travel. Down low. Okay, I'm going to ask you to move forward. Ready? Forward. Double through back. Very nice. Arms up. 
maybe you need to reach that coffee cup, that upper part of the cabinet. One more time. No. Down. What if we put those together? Push forward from your chest. Go. Come to the side. We're going to go out, out, in, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Two. Move forward. Arms up. Double dribble. Double dribble back. Now, do you remember the face? This time, left arm goes up. Face. You're blocking. Switch and block. Oh, you're moving. I hit the nose. Now, in your brain, you're thinking, what comes next? Out, out, in, in? You are right. Stay with it. If you don't get it, just fix it. We're moving forward. Arms up. Fast. Good. Again, arms up nice and tall. Beautiful. And back. Are you ready for the face? Block. So. Switch that block. Excellent. I need you just to sit back. Sit back. Ah. Your face going backwards. Do not let your knees go over the toes. Just lock and hold. It's now time to take a little break and grab our hand weights and do a little interval training. Great cardio, everybody. If you don't have weights, go to your cabinet, pick up two suit cans. It's time to work with muscular conditioning. Weights in your hand. I want you to start at your side. I'm going to turn that down a little. Down a little, they can hear me. Now, you're starting nice and low. Good. We're trying to adjust the volume. Up to you. A little low. Oh, good. Perfect. Up to down to. Object is to start at your thigh. We want that full range of motion. Again. One more. Now switch it. Stand up. Ah. Uh, you're going to put your shoulders on. I want you to pull your elbows back a little bit. I'll turn so you can see me. Um, shoulder blades are pulling back. We don't want those rounded shoulders. Pull back. Couple more. Ah, you can be able to look. That's called retraction. Let's go back to the first move. Up to control the weight. Up for two. Again, up for two. Now let's do that shoulder lift. We're going to call that an upright row. Ah. So if I turn side, my shoulders get pulled back. I squeeze them together because we don't want those rounded shoulders. Four more, four, three. I hear the music changing. That means it's time for us to change. Side lift, side. Now, if this is too difficult, Dan, who's in that whitish blue shirt, is showing you how you can take one arm at a time instead of both arms. Maybe you do the one arm, join Dan, or take both arms, that's up to you. Good. Nice and slow. Our movements aren't fast. It's not a race. 
It's about feeling better, becoming stronger. My goal is for you to become a better mover, more confident, with better balance. Now pull back, let's try something else. We talked about these shoulders pulling back. Same thing, meet with the elbow. Pull back. You'll notice I'm kind of squatting a little bit. My knees are bent. It's nice and easy. Ah. Feel good. Together. Pass the first movement. Bicep curl. Up for two. Great. Are you starting low at your thigh? Do I touch my shoulders? If necessary. How long is this class? Well, what I'd like you to do is to keep your chest lifted. So if I was here doing my curl, I need mean, horrible posture. One more. What's the next move? Anybody remember? Upright. Good. Gentle training. We want to challenge the body, but take a rest when you need to. Four left. Okay. Next move, we're going to pull back. We want that retraction. Retract the shoulder blades again. My elbows slide back. My waist to my heel. Oh. Great. Roll your shoulders back. Oh, that was really nice. We just have one more thing we have to do. I'm going to put my hands here and up. My thumbs face the rear mirror, and I go back for two. I'm going to try to keep my elbows towards my head. Back for two. So if you can see me, my waist go behind my head. Nice. Uh, so that's two counts on a gentle move. This time, slow down for three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Slow. Very nice. I try to keep my elbows in as opposed to making triangles. Stay here. There's a little bit more of a challenge. Stay here. A little baby lift. I just have a little lift. If I think about my house right now, I'm in the basement. I go to the first floor. I see right here, I'm in the basement, I go to the main floor. Now, over here, you're on the main floor. I want you to go to the second floor. Very good. Squeeze at the top. Or left. Now, your waist might be separate, or Jan has her waist together. That works as well. Bring them in. Ah, uh, roll those shoulders back. Fantastic. It's time to put those weights down and go back to moving. Ah. I just need a little stretch after that work. A little stretch after that work. Thank you. 
combine our muscles together, our how? Our how? Our down and down. Try that again. Yes. It's the I can't have a joke. You want to become better with the first bite of the world. You did this with your weight. Again, I welcome your comments. Let me know. Is the music too loud? Too soft? Can you hear me? Our out, 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 down. Now, by the pearl, we're just going to put a little combination together. Our out, our out, down. You just work those shoulders and those biceps. Huh? Let's do it without the weight. Again, our out, our out, and down. By the pearl. How about we do that one more time? Are you getting a little too bit confident? Let's see if we can double time it. We're getting a little crazy here. Ready? And come on. If you feel like your arms are completely all over the place, that's okay. You're moving. The number of arms is straight, tap the side. Four, four, straight. Two, four taps left. Go. I always want you to concentrate on your footwork first. Four counts to left. Very nice. Tap away from your body. Tap away. Now, if you can imagine, you have some running arms. Okay, let's make those walking arms. For four, three, two, switch. Four. Again, go. One. Okay, last time it'll go to musical break. I can hear 32 pounds. Last one. Now go back to your arms. That was good. Arms. Go. Bicep curl nice and easy. Yes. I guess. Bicep curl. Now move up. Four tap. Sorry. Four tap. Walk and hail up. One more. Great. It is time to work into your balance training. Squat lift. Squat lift. Nice. So it's crucial that you make sure that your hips are going back. Try to keep your chest up again. Are you weak? Walk and face pose. Very nice. But it is time to take that leg to the side and work some balance training. Four. Now, your best balance point is that you can put your arms out, making a triangle from the top of your head to the side. Good. Now, if you need to hang on to a wall or maybe you have a chair, that would be fine. Good. Let's switch. Go. Anybody that would like to? go to the wall. You might find a table nearby or a chair. Probably be best. Let's try it again. Just four counts. Just four. Oh my. Three. Two. Oh, you look very nice. Switch. Four. Three. Now we're going to change the direction. You already squatted. This is called a single leg. Lunge to the rear. Good. So if I turn to the side, you're going to notice my heel stays off the floor. My heel is off the floor. Good. Now it's gently lowering, then rise up with the front foot. So I bend the back knee, even if it's a little bent. Let's see if we can put it together. You know I like combination. It works our brain. Go. Very nice. 
Other side. What about your standing leg? Is there a little bend in that standing leg? Rear lunge. Rear lunge. Alternate. Great. So what will happen if your back knee will bend, even if it's a slight bend? One more time to the side. Go. Four. Three. Two. Switch. Four counts. Four. Let me know if it's kicking in a little bit. Two. Go to that rear lunge. Just your toe tap. Just that toe. Have a slight bend in that rear leg. Okay. It's going to come together. Yes, do one of each to the side. Side and lunge. Yes, you're balancing. Side and lunge. Side, lunge. Side, lunge. Squat two. Squat two. Again, squat two. Squat two. One more. Take a rest. Woo. Walk. Inhale up. Fantastic. Roll those shoulders back. Grab those hand weights. Roll those shoulders back. Get ready. Second set. Curl, press, lower, down. So we are now at the point in our workout where we can combine movement patterns. You're becoming more confident. Lift, down, at tempo. You ready? It's here. Lift. Lower nice and easy. I like how you brought those weights down to your thighs. Woo. More. The compound exercise. We're combining movement patterns. Almost there. Do the best you can. Take that break when you need it. One more, final one. Next exercise, hold here. Great, you're a goal post. Elbow in and out, in and out. Good. Hey Jody, can you do me a favor? Can you turn the camera a little bit as I walk? Stay there everybody. Oh, it's above. Oh, it's above us. Oh, forget it, forget it. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to show Mary Lou. Mary Lou, could you step up here next to me, please? Could you come next to me? Good. Just so the folks can see that you're able to do these movements without weight. We're putting together arms up, lift, down again. Lift, down. Lift. So maybe you don't have weights, or maybe you have some issues that you don't want to push the weight on top of it. One more. Oh, very nice. Put those arms out. Ready? Now your emphasis here is to open those arms up. Ready? Open. Open. Four left. Last one. Down, ah, oh, roll those shoulders back. Are you all giving a little feedback? We welcome your feedback. Okay, put your weights down. We're on to your final part. I want you to find a place in your home, whether it be a table or a wall, where we can start to do some push ups. So, both of you can go back for a break. Go to do our push-up. So 
imagine, imagine. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Push up, ladies. Push up. Oh, now we're changing the focus. wall again now okay yes to the wall to the wall to the wall excellent i can hear you and i love that thank you you're back to the wall yes those push-ups i like to repeat the movement so listen if you don't get them somewhere down the line it's gonna repeat you've got to cut yourself a little break i'm pushing this is an awkward way to show you my goodness. Now, hands there on the wall. Put your foot behind you. Put your foot behind you. Hands are on the wall, on the chair, behind you. Now, I understand you have to kind of move around in your house. So, I want to give you plenty of time. To take your curtsy, <laughs> baby, take a little curtsy. Go ahead, take your curtsy. If that doesn't work for you, keep your hands on the wall, on the chair. Excellent. One more. Inhale up. Fantastic. It is time for us to stretch. You've done an awesome job. But we want to make sure that we reset the body. So I'm going to ask you to take your legs, stagger your stance. Be mindful that your heel is anchored on the ground. So your back heel is anchored. Stay there and I'll show you. This back heel is anchored. Hands are here. Lunge forward, now come up. Lunge and hold, and up. Lunge and hold, and up. You might feel that deeper stretch as you lunge forward. Now we're gonna add on. Lift, lift. Now instead of anchoring my heel, I want you to lift up. Good. Last two. Now stay there. You're balancing. Now gently bend the back leg. Hands down. If you can, either put them on the chair in front of you, or you can put your hands behind you. I would like to see your chin over your collarbone here instead of a morning duck. Okay? I don't want that chin there. I need the chin in. Now from here, down up. Sink and rise. Oh, it might be a very small movement. Sink and rise. Last two, you're opening this hip flexor. Last two. And one. Oh, good. Other leg back. Just stay here. Stay here. 
pull yourself up, shoulders back, kick over the collarbone. Your head is being drawn up. Good. All I need to do is lean and back. Lean, gentle. This is called dynamic stretching. As I do this, I don't let that knee go too far over the toe. I'll make sure you can see it. So as I'm lunging, my knee just goes over my toe box. You can see that. It's a small movement. Good. Stay forward and hold. I just want that heel anchor. Anchor it. Keep it on the ground and lean forward. Keep the heel down. Feel that stretch. Okay, now we're going to make it a little bit more fluid. Good. Now you're going up to the toe. That back toe. Reach. Reach. Stay up. Stay up. Lower down and you think. You want to open up that hip flexor, chin over your collarbone, shoulders down and back. If you can tip the hip forward, down up a little bit. Ah, very small. Is your heel off the floor? Right. Turn forward, push off your feet. Push. Good, just push. 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 I like rotation training, so I'll ask you if you can make sure you have enough room at home that you're just reaching across your body. Good. You're releasing that heel. Shoulders feel strong this morning. Pretty. Good. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep your feet on the ground. Reach. 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 Great. Inhale up. Uh, exhale. Inhale up one more time. It's time to stretch those triceps that you work so hard on. Stay here. So with your hand, towards the back of your shoulders, gently allow that tricep to stretch. The back of the arm and switch and up, drop the hand, hold and stretch. Good, arms down, release your hips, release your hips. Oh, it's hard not to want to move to the Bee Gees. Release. Hands up. Open up those shoulders. And up. Go. All right, behind your head. Down, down. Again, hands behind your head. Open up the shoulders and the chest. Good. And up. All right, exhale, inhale up. Take your leg out in front of you. Hold your stretch. Now my toes are up. I'll step back a little. Great. Roll those shoulders back. Retract the shoulders. When you get done with class today, I want your shoulders here and not here. So we're going to hinge, hinge here at the hip. If you like to get a deeper stretch, you can just pull those toes back gently. Otherwise, you should be feeling this behind your leg. We did a lot of nice leg work, some balance work. Good, inhale up, 
It has been a wonderful morning with you all. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all. I hope to see you back again, everybody. Come join what, us again. What's your name? My name is Lily. Lily. What is your name? Bess. You had a, you did a good program. Thank you. Oh, well, it was so nice to have you join us. Come back. Thank again. you. I hope to. Thank you. Better movers together. Okay.